Hello, this is Victoria Ring, and I'm going to show you the different software programs for bankruptcy uh, that attorneys use. And the top three, the first one is Bankruptcy 2010. Each year it changes. Next year it will be 2011. This was developed by a bankruptcy attorney named Frederick Rogelvi. Excellent program. Just all three of them are great, as you'll find out. Um, you click right there to get a free demo, and you'll fill out some de some information there. Frederick Rogelvi is the only one in the industry that does support the virtual assistant industry. This was an industry that I started, not the virtual assistants, I started the uh, sub part of it for virtual bankruptcy assistance. Um, and I developed that field back in 01. Uh, but the, he is the only uh, attorney that developed bankruptcy software that supports uh, the industry I developed. Anyway, his a software program, you can go right here to bankruptcysoftware.com. The second major player is Easy Filing. And I had to type in the www.easyfiling.com. If you type in just Easy Filing, it doesn't come up. Anyway, you'll come here to the major website. I have met the developer of this program in person. His name is Marty Moore. He is headquartered in Denver, Colorado. And if you click on one of those links there, it will take you to their website so you can download the demo CD. And the third final player, these are the three main ones that are dominating the market right now is bestcase.com. Just go to bestcase.com. And when you do, you uh, can also scroll down here and get you a demo version. And I'm sure over time, these websites will change. Now, your next question may be, what is the difference between all three? There is no difference in the final product. It's going to depend on how you enjoy it, how, which one you prefer uh, for your law firm and for your personal purpose. So you need to download these demos. They're totally free and enter in some basic information. I'm going to show you in a minute and see which ones you like. Uh, it's the same thing as do you prefer WordPerfect or, or Microsoft Word? They both produce the same document. It's just whichever one you prefer. Now, this is best case software. And I've used it for so many years, I guess that's I'm familiar with it. I don't recommend one over the other. But each one of them is going to have a list of all of the different schedules that make up a petition. So when you install it, and you'll install the jurisdictions, then simply open up, say, the voluntary petition, for instance, and in this case, just enter in some information. This is some bogus uh, information that I have placed in here. And just check the different areas and enter in the information. Because in the end, they all are going to print a um, or prepare a bankruptcy petition and all bankruptcy petitions look the same. Let me show you. So as you can see here is the federal form. It may be running off the screen a little bit uh, because it's extra wide here but it here's the voluntary petition and so as you can see all of these software programs prepare the same forms. So I hope that answers your question and helps you with your bankruptcy software selection because each one of these are, are very costly uh, $1,000 ranges. So, um, so before I end though, I want to show you a quick uh, little tip. 
Okay, here we are back here at the best case screen. When you decide to purchase one of these software programs, a way to save money is to, you have usually options, each one of these are kind of different, but usually they have a multi-user and a single user. Of course, if you're just one attorney, you just only need to get the single. And one money-saving tip is to uh, purchase the Chapter 7 module. Uh, if you do that, then um, when you get your first Chapter 13 case, then you can upgrade. So don't think that once you purchase this, you have to buy the whole new package again to get 13. I think the upgrade, uh, see here's a single user is 900 at this time. And when you get your first 13, I think it's a couple hundred dollars to upgrade. You can do that, I think, with all the software programs. And then that way you don't have uh, to pick that, put that out, go out right away. And also, uh, don't fall prey to buying additional um, uh, forms, local forms and things for your software unless you just happen to want to do that but all of these forms are available as free PDFs on the bankruptcy court websites and I am even in the pro even in the process now of placing all of these documents for the chapter 13 plans online so that you can go right to one source my uh, Colorado bankruptcy training and you'll come to coloradobankruptcytraining.com and you will scroll down here and right over on the right side is bankruptcy links you can click right there on chapter 13 plans and I have a list began I've, I'm almost finished with it of all the states and you can click on the states and you will be able to not only get the chapter 13 plans but also the local forms and the court rules so that is all free of charge you do not have to be a member of anything you just go to the front page of the website and click on those links so thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoy uh, this helped you and help maybe save you some money thank you very much